our abstract is about uh, the use of ctDNA monitoring in order to assess uh, response and clinical outcome of patients with metastatic colorectal cancer uh, treated with first and second line uh, treatment uh, chemotherapy. So uh, we evaluated prospectively patient treated with first and second line chemo uh, for metastatic colorectal cancer uh, and assessed uh, plasma uh, on 862 of them uh, during a period of time of four years. Uh, these patients uh, were um, evaluated for uh, plasma uh, collection and ctDNA analysis at baseline and every month during treatment until progression. Uh, so we had uh, um, a possibility to evaluate ctDNA dynamics on all, during all the treatment of this patient. So um, this patient uh, uh, were evaluated uh, uh, every month uh, on plasma uh, samples and 12 of them had also tissue samples available. So uh, we performed whole exome sequencing on tissue samples that was, that was paired to plasma sample. Uh, on total of 75 patients uh, analyzed. So we consider ctDNA clearance as uh, a reduction of 99% or more on, uh, of um, uh, uh, variants evaluated on plasma and uh, in particular in the three allele variants that were, that were possible to evaluate on the basal um, sample collected on plasma. Uh, so of 83 paired samples from 75 patients, uh, 12 patients were um, evaluated and uh, in 12 of them we didn't detect uh, variants, so they were negative for uh, ctDNA mutation. Uh, for the remaining uh, 71 patients, we evaluated uh, uh, ctDNA at basal and every month during treatment and 52% uh, of them had ctDNA normalization after one month of treatment. So uh, they had a complete clearance of ctDNA after one month. Um, these normalized patients uh, had, uh, um, uh, were in good, basically in better clinical conditions. So there was a higher amount of ECO PS01 among these patients, 52% who had um, ctDNA normalization. And uh, this patient had a uh, longer overall survival, median overall survival, a longer uh, median progression-free survival, and had a higher response rate compared to patients who had not uh, uh, DNA clearance after one month of treatment. In a multivariate analysis, um, the uh, clearance of ctDNA, so absence of uh, uh, variants detected after one month, was associated with a decreased risk of death with a significant hazard ratio of 0 0.47. And uh, um, moreover, uh, this patient had a higher probability of achieving an objective response rate compared to patients who had not a clearance of ctDNA. So basically a response on uh, the first um, CT scan performed after two months or three months. That is generally the first radiological assessment that is performed in this patient. So uh, another interesting thing is that only 46% of variants that were detecting in plasma samples were um, found also in paired tissue samples. So um, more than 50% of mutation that we detected on plasma samples were not detectable on tissue. Um, in conclusion, um, uh, ctDNA is a promising uh, um, marker of response, a predictor of outcome, or clinical outcome and response to treatment in patients with metastatic colorectal cancer. The evaluation of ctDNA clearance after one month of treatment can be a predictor also of a response, an objective response to treatment that uh, so we can predict and early evaluate 
without um, considering the first CT scan that generally comes later in a later time with respect to one month. Uh, another interesting thing is that not all, not all the variants that we detected on plasma were uh, evaluated, were um, found in tissue, and so uh, the evaluation of plasma could give us more information on the uh, mutational status and CT DNA dynamics compared to tissue sample.